In the tapestry of ancient Egyptian mythology, a mysterious and iconic figure emerges, Anubis, the jackal-headed deity associated with death and the afterlife. Have you ever wondered about the enigmatic role played by Anubis in guiding the deceased through the intricate journey of the underworld? Often depicted as a guardian, embalmer, and guide, Anubis stands as a significant and enduring symbol in the rich tapestry of Egyptian religious beliefs and funerary practices. Anubis, also known as Inpu or Anpu, holds a unique place in the pantheon of ancient Egyptian deities. Whether portrayed with the head of a jackal or a dog, this deity's influence extends from the earliest periods of Egyptian civilization, leaving an indelible mark on the cultural and religious landscape of the Nile Valley. The parentage of Anubis, like many aspects of Egyptian mythology, is subject to variation in different accounts. Some tales attribute his lineage to Osiris and Nephthys, while others suggest Ra and Nephthys, or Ra and Hasat as his parents. Despite the diverse narratives, Anubis consistently assumes a distinct and vital role in the Egyptian pantheon. Anubis's connection to death and the afterlife is intricately interwoven with the myth of Osiris, a central figure in Egyptian cosmogony. In this captivating narrative, Osiris, the god of the afterlife and resurrection, falls victim to the treachery of his brother Set. As Osiris is murdered and dismembered, it is Anubis, potentially his son, who emerges as a key player in the preservation of Osiris's body. The story unfolds as Anubis, displaying unwavering loyalty to Osiris, takes on the responsibility of mummifying the dismembered remains of the god. This act of embalming, a sacred and symbolic practice, solidifies Anubis's role as the guide and protector of the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. Anubis's involvement in the Osiris myth extends beyond the preservation of the body. He actively participates in subsequent events, contributing to the overarching themes of death, resurrection, and the cyclical nature of life. The Osiris myth becomes a foundational narrative, shaping the beliefs and practices surrounding death in ancient Egypt. As the guardian of the underworld, Anubis assumes a pivotal role in the judgment of the deceased. In the afterlife, a profound ceremony unfolds where the souls face judgment, and their hearts are weighed against the feather of Ma'at, the goddess of truth and justice. Anubis presides over this solemn weighing of the heart ceremony, ensuring the equilibrium of the cosmic scales and the rightful passage of the deceased to the afterlife. The symbolism inherent in the weighing of the heart ceremony is profound, reflecting the intricate beliefs of ancient Egyptians. The heart, representing the essence of an individual's life and deeds, is placed on one side of the scales. On the other side rests the feather of Ma'at, symbolizing cosmic order and balance. Anubis's role in this ceremony reinforces the concept that one's actions in life determine their fate in the afterlife. Anubis's association with mummification goes beyond mythical narratives and becomes an integral part of the practical rituals of ancient Egyptian society. Temples dedicated to Anubis serve as centers for embalming and funerary practices. Anubis's priests, known as embalmers, meticulously follow prescribed rituals to ensure the proper preservation of the deceased's body. The embalming process, overseen by Anubis's divine influence, involves various stages such as the removal of internal organs, the drying and wrapping of the body, and the application of protective amulets. Anubis, as the patron of embalmers, guides these sacred rituals, ensuring that the deceased is meticulously prepared for the transformative journey to the afterlife. In the intricate web of Egyptian funerary beliefs, Anubis's role extends beyond the physical preservation of the body. Devotees invoke him through prayers and spells to provide protection and guidance for the soul on its journey through the afterlife. The Book of the Dead, a compilation of funerary texts and spells, prominently features invocations to Anubis, emphasizing his crucial role in the post-mortem journey. Anubis' presence in the Book of the Dead underscores the belief in a perilous journey through the underworld. The deceased, guided by Anubis, encounters various challenges and trials, including the judgment ceremony, the navigation of treacherous landscapes, and encounters with supernatural entities. Anubis's protective role is invoked to ensure a successful passage through these challenges, underscoring his significance in the intricate tapestry of Egyptian funerary beliefs. The ancient Egyptians held Anubis in high esteem, venerating him through dedicated cults and temples. Pilgrims and devotees sought the blessings of Anubis, especially during funerary rites and ceremonies associated with death. The city of Sinopolis, meaning City of the Dog, emerged as a significant center of Anubis worship, emphasizing the canine aspect of this revered deity. 
The cult of Anubis extended beyond the borders of Egypt, gaining recognition in other ancient civilizations, including Greece and Rome. The Greek god Hermanubis, a fusion of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian Anubis, exemplifies the enduring appeal and influence of Anubis beyond the confines of Egypt. Anubis's significance in ancient Egyptian society is mirrored in the rich artistic expressions of the time. He is often portrayed in tomb paintings, sculptures, and funerary artifacts. The jackal-headed god with his poised and regal stance symbolizes both the mystery and solemnity surrounding death in the Egyptian worldview. Artistic representations of Anubis also highlight his role as a protector and guide. Images of Anubis accompany scenes of mummification, judgment ceremonies, and the deceased's journey through the afterlife. The visual symbolism reinforces the interconnectedness of mythology, religious beliefs, and funerary practices in ancient Egypt. While Anubis's prominence is most evident in the Old and Middle Kingdoms of ancient Egypt, his influence persisted through the New Kingdom and beyond. Temples dedicated to Anubis, such as the one at Saqqara, remained important centers of worship and ritualistic practices. The enduring legacy of Anubis is reflected in the continued fascination with Egyptian mythology and its impact on popular culture. In contemporary times, Anubis continues to captivate the imagination. His image appears in various forms, from literature to movies, often portraying him as a mysterious and powerful figure associated with the mysteries of death and the afterlife. Anubis's enduring appeal transcends the boundaries of time, resonating with those intrigued by the ancient Egyptian worldview. In conclusion, the story of Anubis unfolds as a tapestry woven with threads of mythology, religious beliefs, and funerary practices in ancient Egypt. As the jackal-headed guardian of the afterlife, Anubis played a vital role in the journey of the deceased, from the preservation of the physical body to the guidance through the challenges of the underworld. Anubis, with his divine attributes and enduring legacy, remains an iconic figure that embodies the complex and profound relationship between life and death in the ancient Egyptian worldview.